Um, I'm going to show you how quickly today to make a Google form for your survey for this project. So you want to be in your drive. You want to go to new, more, Google forms. And once you're into Google forms, it might take a second to load. All right, but I just want to show you around. So this is where you would put the title of your form. So this might be your product research. And then you might want to put the name of your product in there. All right, so then next time you go to the question and remember all you need to look at your tips and tricks for creating surveys and you also need to keep the end in mind you need to keep it simple and you need to have your survey objectives what is it that you want to get out of it one of the things that you're going to want to get out of it are your demographics so you may want to ask maybe the first question is age all right and then you want to give choices so we're going to be sending it out in the school. So I would do starting at 15, maybe 15 to 18. And you have to keep um, sure that you have demographics of people that have similar um, tastes in mind. So like, for example, grouping an 18 year old with me wouldn't necessarily get you the data that you want. So um, And remember, since I'm sending this out, you want to have, um, you know, you could do uh, 61 plus if you wanted to. All right. So then what do we do next? Well, there's a couple things. If you needed to have these same exact choices, which I don't necessarily know if you would or not, you would click the duplicate button and that gives you the next question. Now, let's say you accidentally hit that. This is remove, gets ready of your question. Um, any questions that you want to have that have to be required, like when you do your performance assessment, all of your questions are required, which means it won't let you submit it without um, doing that question. Then you click on this and that changes it to required. Um, down here, you have the choice. You can do short answer. So this is like what I put on there for your name um, and then your uploads. If you want them to have longer responses, you would do paragraph. But remember, look at your tips and techniques and what they say about that. Multiple choices. Checkboxes are the ones where if you want them to select like three or four things at one time. And then um, drop down is exactly what it sounds like. It's going to be a drop down menu kind of like this is. And it's going to give you, um, you know, the choices that you put in there. All right. So next up, um, make sure that you title this up here. Um, because if you don't, then it'll be in your um, drive and you won't know what it is. All right, so if you want to put a new question on that doesn't duplicate, so you click this. If you want to add a title and a description, you can do that. If you want to insert an image or a video or you want to add a different section to your um, survey, you can do that. And there's a couple different things. Up here, you can change the color palette. So if you want to do it red or if you wanted to insert a picture like I have at the top of your performance assessment, that's right there. If you want to preview it, which is always a good thing to do before you send it out so that you can see what it looks like, um, then you would click on the preview button. Now, when you're sending out your survey, this is the URL you need to use. And remember, you want to use your URL shortener, right? Because this is going to take up far less fewer characters when you tweet it out than this big long URL. This is when you want to send out. If you send out the one that you were on on this screen when you were editing it, then people have the ability to edit it and they're not actually giving you data and that's not what you want. And then there's other things in your settings right here. Um, if you want to make sure that they can only submit one response, you want to put that there. But that requires a login, and that's going to dissuade some people from doing it. So if I were you, I wouldn't do that. If you want to show a progress bar, so like they've, they're 10% done and they're 50% done, then you'd click that. And then you click Save. And then when you want to send it, you go ahead and click on that. And you could um, send it through email to people. Um, I'll be helping you with that. Um, the easiest way, though, is when you go to preview and then you just do your URL shortener, copy it. Um, you can also make QR codes out of this um, extension. Um, it will also give you the details of how many people are filling it out, what kind of devices they're filling out, things like that. This right here is your progress bar. So that's going to have um, show you that you're done with it. So if you have any other questions, make sure you're Googling Google Forms. Make sure that you're asking around. I can definitely help you with this. Um, but this is really going to be pivotal because if people aren't going to buy your product, then there's really no point in making your product and going forward with this project. So this is just something to keep in mind.